Hi, my name is Prasanna and I'm going to talk about my project for this summer's deep learning course. The goal of this project is to see how to generate a meaningful summary of a news article. I've used CNN data, uh, news article data here, um, without repeating phrases in the original source text, uh, what I call here as the abstractive summary defined here. The first technique employed is the bidirectional LSTM. We have already seen this technique in class. There's an encoder that reads the source text word by word, producing a sequence of encoder hidden states. The two directional, bidirectional arrows show that the token sequence is read forward and backwards. And um, the decoder receives as input the previous word of the summary and use it to update a decoder hidden state. Uh, we also calculate an attention distribution over the words in the source text. In slide numbers four and five, I've shown the Python code that was used to implement uh, this uh, bidirectional LSTM with attention. It was seen based on my experience that the summaries often had repetitions, there were limitations on computing power, and sometimes, uh, uh, like we are seeing here, there's significant overfitting and low accuracy. The pointer generator network was developed as an improvement over the previous model. Uh, here, we calculate a probability of generation, pgen, that is referred here. Um, which represents the probability of generating a word from the vocabulary versus copying a word from the source text. And this adds to the penning down feature that we need for an abstractive summarization. The generation probability pgen is used to weigh the, and combine the vocabulary distribution and the attention distribution into a final distribution, uh, as shown in this formula here. Slide number eight shows the code that is used to generate the pointer generator network. And slide number nine shows the output from a pointer generator network. Uh, based on the summary, the pointer generator network clearly outperformed the bidirectional LSTM on the data set we used. Thank you.